meteorologist Scott Dorval. Hi, my name is Brent Westerberg and I'm from Santa Elementary. And my question is, do you, do you use satellites to tell the weather? Great question, and yes, indeed, we do use satellites. Very important since 1974, meteorologists have been using satellites, and before that, it was very difficult to forecast the weather. And this is what one of those satellites looks like right here. Looking over the Earth, this is a GOES satellite, G-O-E-S. That's Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite. And by geostationary, it means basically as the Earth is spinning here, the, orbits, the orbital speed of this satellite is going at the exact same position, so it's always over the same spot over the Earth. And you have to get a certain distance. That's 22,300 miles above the Earth to get to that spot. And so basically the satellite can stay in one spot and just keep taking pictures of what's going on on the Earth. Here's an animation showing all the different satellites that are up in the sky. And what we're talking about is the red dots you see there. Those are the geostationary weather satellites. Then there are other satellites that can orbit much closer to the ground, different spy satellites, other weather satellites to get closer looking. They have to go a lot quicker so they only get a little stripe of the Earth, but they're much more detailed. And so both of those help us to forecast the weather with satellites. And this is the image that we're talking about. Here's a hurricane off the coast of Central America. And you see we can get a full image of the cloud cover. And this geostationary satellite will just sit and continue to snap pictures. This is what the satellite looks like when they're putting it together here in the clean room. This is the size of the satellite to give you an idea. And of course, you've got to get it up into space. And so they launched it. This is the last one that was launched here, the GOES-15. I think this might have been the GOES-15. And here's the path of it not coming back down to the ground. It's basically going into orbit. When they, they launch these things, they kind of go out around the Earth and then spin up and get to the uh, proper altitude. You can't just go straight up because it uh, takes a lot more energy that way. And then once it's in space, this is the latest satellite, the most technologically advanced satellite. And what it will take pictures of is not only clouds, but temperatures of the Earth, temperatures of the, of the ocean, all of the moisture involved. It'll also shoot sensors towards the sun to check on solar flares. So satellites are very, very important in weather. Great question.